Miss Palmer, I got here just in time, I see. You already have two Institute keycards. No one has been able to pass through the dome around the Research Institute. Darren won't let anyone in. The highest access keycard belongs to the project lead, Sarah Carter. She didn't evacuate. She was doing more damn research, even in her final moments. I brought you here for a reason. This is where the evacuation tent for the Institute workers was. If you can't find Sarah's body here, at least you might find some clues of where she could be.
Maya, can you hear me? Mommy, where are you? I'm scared. Darren's really mad at you. Don't worry, I'm almost there. Just hang on, sweetie. Maya, what are you doing? Who are you talking to? I'm sorry. Maya can't come to the phone right now. Don't call back. What have you done to my daughter? Mommy? This is Sarah Carter, the supervisor of Project Dawn. Today is May 11th. My watch says it's 12.23 a.m. We've almost finished evacuating Gray Falls. Only a few residents are still here. We've told the remaining residents more police cars are coming to help, but it's a lie. What's the point of telling them they're doomed? I have research to complete. Years ago, I lost my daughter, my honey. Phoebe had an untreatable genetic disease. Sitting next to her that day, holding her hand, I swore to find a way to improve human bodies, even defeating death itself. I've been working hard to become the head of Project Dawn. I chose each person on my staff carefully. We looked everywhere for gifted people. Finally, luck smiled upon us. Our patient, a boy named Darren Soul, was a true gem. Darren's abilities are truly amazing. We tried to strengthen them using a special helmet. But things quickly got out of control. After the first explosion, I realized we had to evacuate the town. No one could get through to Darren. That's when my staff fled like cowardly rats. They were afraid of the townspeople's anger, of Darren's abilities. But these things were so small. I stayed here and I won't leave. I'm taking just a few necessities, my chest and my records. I'm going back to the Institute to see what's happening. At the bus terminal, I saw a military vehicle. I'll use it to enter the Institute. Nothing will stop me.
After our town was isolated, we scattered, trying to survive. Darren's influence slowly drove each of us crazy. I was the last to hang on to my sanity. Here's the station. Some people hid here, waiting for help to arrive. They didn't realize no one was going to. They even hung photos of their lost loved ones up there. I had to watch the people of my town die. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. There was no one left to hang up my photo. But you're here now. Could you hang my photo for me? In return, I'm sure the souls of this town will reveal their darkest secrets to you.